All right, this week at Speedy's Garage is something a little bit different. I've had to go to a conference for work, so we're headed to Las Vegas at zero dark 30, and Miss Speedy's in a bad mood. Packed, ready to go. We're about to head over to the office and then grab an Uber to the airport. It's Sunday, so it should go pretty smooth. You gonna get in a better mood now? I need coffee. Snacks, check. We gotta have our protein. <laughs> figure out which way to go because it's like a maze in here. So here we are at the hotel room, MGM Grand. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty decent room, but they charge you for everything, like literally. Don't touch the ice, don't touch the water maker, don't touch the bottled water, don't touch the anything. So here's an example. You've got a nicely stocked fridge, mini bar. If you just store something personal in there, they charge you 50 bucks. But they have a refrigerator service through housekeeping. It's only $25 a day. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Got a kind of a crummy view looking out the back of the hotel, but I'm here for a work convention, so what do you expect? It's not like we're on vacation or something. Technically, we would ask for a different room if that were the case, but the room is actually pretty nice. As you can see, it's comfortable. It's got a nice temperature. We got two queen beds, that was what was available right now. And as you saw downstairs, the line was insane to get in this place. The guy said they have about 5,000 rooms and they stay at a 95% booked capacity. So pretty popular place. I gotta head over and get registered for the uh, convention. So I'm about to do that now. We'll see you later. Go for it. Okay, so I'm taking a bit of a break and I thought I'd give you guys an insight into the weather. So I hope you can see there, 6% humidity. So it's extremely dry, but it's 99 degrees outside. Now, compared to Middle Tennessee, which is where I'm from, that 6% humidity is a dream come true. I mean, it is so nice out. Even though it's about 100 degrees, it was 102 yesterday, it just really does not feel that hot to me. I mean, I've heard people complaining about the heat, and I'm walking around like, what are you complaining about? Like, this is nothing. I've had blue jeans on because the convention that I've been going to has been pretty cold inside. They've got the, the AC cranked up to the max because it's so hot outside. But because there's no humidity, um, I'm actually pretty comfortable. And at night, it drops down to like 60, 65 degrees. It's because you're in the desert, and it doesn't retain heat. So it just, everything kind of cools off at night. It's a pretty cool atmosphere out here out west. This is uh, pretty far west for me and I'm really enjoying it. It's the scenery's way different. The city's really interesting. Las Vegas is an interesting place. Um, two days here, three days here is probably going to be the max I would want to spend. It, it's almost like it kind of gets redundant after a while. All the lights and the there's people everywhere. All the casinos kind of start to look the same after a while. But it is kind of cool to get out here and see uh, something quite different than what we're used to in Middle Tennessee.
Vegas is the slot machine prizes are actually sometimes cars like that. So maybe we'll play some slots and we can win this. Summer. And there's Miss Speedy. She's been hanging out at the pool. How many guys bought you drinks today? Zero. Oh, come on. You're good. The, the bartender told me. He told me all about it. <laughs> oh, stop. Busted. <laughs> Las Vegas Boulevard right there.
check this place out. We decided to run over to Hoover Dam, so we're on the Arizona side actually now instead of the Nevada side. Here it is. You know we're not in Las Vegas anymore when you see that kind of humidity. So yes, we are back home. Back to Middle Tennessee, back to the heat and the humidity. I'm sure gonna miss that dry air out there in Las Vegas. I didn't shoot the ending of this video last night because we were so tired after all the traveling, so I wanted to come back today and kind of do the ending for it. Um, I went out to Las Vegas for a work conference. Thought I would take you guys along with me. Mrs. Speedy was able to go as well, and as you saw, we had a whole bunch of fun out there. Las Vegas is a town that, in my opinion, I can only spend a couple of days there. It starts, everything starts to kind of look the same and feel the same, and it is, everything's about the hustle. Like, everywhere we went, somebody wanted money for something. Somebody wants to take a picture with you on the sidewalk, they want 20 bucks, literally. I had one of the Flamingo models or something out there. Um, Mrs. Speed was like, hey, go get, your, go get your picture with them. They were just standing out in front of the Flamingo casino. Went over, got my picture, and the girl says, oh, by the way, models get paid $20 per picture. And I was like, okay, too rich for my blood, here's a dollar. Like I wasn't gonna pay her 20 bucks for taking a picture, kind of kind of ridiculous. And it's like that everywhere you go in Las Vegas. Everyone's doing something to hustle for money. I guess that's just the life out there. Makes me thankful for the nice, easy, slow pace back home in Middle Tennessee. But other than that, Las Vegas is actually a really cool town to visit. Um, if you haven't ever been, I recommend you do so. You can, if you pay attention to what you're doing, you can actually go 
for a reasonable amount of money. You just have to pay attention, not let the casino take it all, obviously. I took 100 bucks and gambled it. And, and what I did is I left everything else in the room. I took my $100 cash, I gambled that. It was entertainment, it was like going to dinner and a movie for me. And once it was gone, it was gone. And I went on and did something else. Lots to see, lots to do. So definitely a town you'd want to visit, but for me personally, a couple of days is all I can handle. I hope you liked that kind of video, something totally different than I would normally do on the channel. If you liked it, leave me a thumbs up. I'll do more like it as Mrs. Speedy and I do some future traveling. If you didn't like it, let me know that as well. If you'd rather me just keep it strictly automotive related, I'd like to know that too. I thought this might be something a little bit different to share with you guys and give you some variety. So curious what you thought. And the little teaser clip at the beginning of this video is a little hint to what next week's video is gonna be, and you definitely aren't gonna to wanna to miss that. So be sure you subscribe if you haven't already, click the bell so you get notified of new content. Check us out on Instagram, it's at speedies underscore garage, as well as our website, www.speediesgarage.net, and hopefully I'll see you out there. <laughs>